claiming it. I took it. the model, I put a t-shirt on the model, and then I wrapped her in duct tape. So then I cut the duct tape off okay. so it holds the shape of the model. Then I got the plaster strips that you use for uh, making masks, and I laid it over it. So that's what you end up with. And if you look inside, you can still see the t-shirt. Oh, wow. That is so cool. So it's this. Wow. So then after that, I got a, bought a calf skin, and I wet it. I had to soak it. And then you stretch it across the mold and let it dry. You clamp it so it doesn't shrink. And then you let it dry. And when you pull it off, it comes off in the shape of the mold. Then I laid the mold back on and I dyed the leather. Oh, that's wow. Awesome. And so the leather is now dyed. And then afterwards, I used grommets to attach the strips. But these are dyed as well. So the same color. This oh part my gosh. is really tiny. Her waist, she told me it's and a 28. And there's the sarong. She's not a 28. Hold no. the sarong up. Ah, the sarong. That and is there you go. so okay. is that cool. Is that embroidered or paint? It's paint and beads. Paint, oh, okay. paint and beads. I see like puff paint. It's yes. beautiful. And you designed it? Yes. Wow. You are talented. I know. And did you dye the fabric? Yeah. Well, the fabric came one color and I changed it because I wanted it to be the color of dried grass. Ooh. So the color of the fabric is... Well, it's more like a beige, mm -hmm. like a, a dark muslin, and then I took a green dye and sprayed it over lightly to make it look like the color of dried grass. That is yeah. really cool. So, this is the costume for Amazing. So, yesterday I was working in braiding her hair, so I have been on my feet for just about 24 hours.